In the building bridges problem, I am given a map with a river passing through the middle horizontally, and I'm given the x coordinates of n cities on the southern bank of the river. Let's assume these are numbered 1 through n uh, in order of their coordinates, just without loss of generality. And I'm also given the x coordinates of n cities on the northern bank. So for each city on the northern bank, there's a corresponding city on the southern bank. And what I would like to do is build bridges between pairs of cities on the northern and southern banks, but I don't want to build a pair of bridges which crosses, like I've just done. And I want to build as many bridges as I possibly can. It turns out that this problem is really almost identical to the longest increasing subsequence problem. To see this, let's consider the n cities on the southern bank, and for each of them, let's denote by xi the index on the northern bank of the corresponding city to the ith city on the southern bank. For example, if I want to see what x of 1 is, I look at the corresponding city on the northern bank and notice that it's the third city in order of x coordinate. So I see that x of 1 is equal to 3. And I can compute all of these xi's in n log n time just by sorting. And now what do I want to do? I want to find the longest increasing subsequence of x1 through xn. And I can use the same dynamic programming algorithms that I did for the longest increasing subsequence problem. And just to recall, these run in either order n squared time, or with a little bit of extra cleverness, they can actually even run in order n log n time. Why does this give me an optimal solution to the building bridges problem? Well, let's look at any feasible solution to the problem. A feasible solution will consist of a subset of the cities on the southern bank, which are connected via bridges to their corresponding cities on the northern bank. And if we look at the x-coordinates of the cities on the northern bank, in the ordering imposed by the cities on the southern bank, then we notice that these x-coordinates will form an increasing subsequence. So we have a one-to-one -one correspondence between increasing subsequences of this x-array and feasible solutions to our problem. And moreover, the longest increasing subsequence of the x-array will correspond to the maximum number of bridges that I can build.